Hi, if you're looking for how-to topics on photography or business, stay tuned for my how to get rid of those annoying tan lines in your images in Photoshop. Hi there, I'm Amy Lee from amylee.com.au and in this edition of Amy Lee Online I'm going to show you how to get rid of those annoying tan lines in Photoshop, so stay tuned for this short video. Thank for joining me. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get rid of tan lines and fixing those sorts of skin things that you come across in different sessions. So we've got our image all ready to go. The only problem is we've noticed that our model has some tan lines. Okay, so this is where the spot healing brush tool comes in really handy. You don't need to press Alt or Option to change the skin tone or to fix anything or it will automatically do it for you. So as we always want to duplicate our background layer as before, Select the Spot Healing Brush tool from our toolbox over the, on the side, left hand side, right click, Spot Healing Brush tool. We want to have a hard edge brush, okay. So hardness at 100%. We want the size of it to be particularly enough to cover the actual spot that we're looking at. We want it to be bigger than that. Um, you might want to zoom in okay um, to the area that you're working on but you want it to f you want the brush to fit neatly over the spot that you're trying to cover up okay so until we get down to the triangle part here we'll keep it at this reasonable size okay finally we want to set the opacity of the duplicate layer to 70 to 75 percent to avoid it looking fake so we'll leave it there okay let's go so we'll just drag it down And there we have it, that strap's gone. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that our circle fits neatly over the rest of the skin. So I'm going to up the brush size and I'm going to go further down. See, the spot healing brush tool is really, really smart because what it does is it actually just remembers that the skin should look a certain way based on the surrounding skin or whatever's in the background. So the spot healing brush tool is really great for, you know, areas such as this where it doesn't have to be as precise as if you're using the healing brush tool. Okay, so I might just lower our brush. And I just want to make sure that I'm getting it all, all and making it nice and correct. So I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger and I'm going to see if I can fix this redness here. If I can't fix it with this, what I'm going to do is then take some red out of the image. Okay, so that seems to be good. It's working pretty well. Taking out the redness with the spot healing brush tool. So I'll just go ahead and finish that off and show you the end result. Now what I might do on top of that is I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to go back up to my filter and I'm going to go to image genomic and portraiture and run that one more time over the skin. And instead of letting it be on the face and, and have the face too heavily um, smoothed out. I'm going to erase it back off the face and just have it on the chest area to make sure that the chest area is looking nice and fresh and clean without any marks or blemishes that don't need to be there. Once the portraiture filter has been added I'll then choose my eraser tool over in my toolbox on the left hand side and I will go ahead and erase that back off her face and neck and just keep it on the chest area. Make your brush bigger 
I'm going to make my brush bigger, select the erase tool, I'm just going to erase back off the face and the hair and the neck. And once that's done, it will it has definitely made a big difference to the chest area and we no longer have any tan lines there. And just so that I it does look a little bit more natural, I will drop the opacity a little bit on that layer. Probably down to 80. And there you have it. So now we've got rid of the tan lines, we've basically got rid of the basically got rid of the um, the redness on the chest. Okay, so once we've merged the layers together, we've pretty much got what we needed done, and we've got a beautiful clear chest, and there's no strap marks, there's no suntan lines, and we have uh, finished pretty much finished our image here. So we can go ahead and save that. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and add any other extra edits to it that we might like. We might want a, a color overlay. We might want to put a filter over the top of that. Might want to change it to black and white. You just to play around with the image. But now that's completely, the skin is edited, the eyes are edited, there's highlights where there need to be highlights. And here we have the final result of our image, all cleaned up, ready to go. For further editing, we can either leave it as is and show our client this image, or we can go ahead and edit some more. So there you go. That's how you get rid of those annoying tan lines in Photoshop, quickly and easily for a professional look. So like, share, and favorite, and leave a comment, even if you don't have a question. I'm Amy Lee, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, remember, a vision without action is just a dream. Hi guys, if, if you're, you're looking, looking for a short how-to video on photography and business, then stay, business, tuned, for this then stay tuned for this What do they say? Take one. Stop looking at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>